we got a lot of really exciting news to go over today guys so buckle up starting off with some new leaks on intel's next generation cpus you heard me right these things are looking absolutely wild and this information is coming from the leaker moore's law is dead now of course this is a rumor so definitely take it with a grain of salt but according to the leaks as you can see on screen right now this new cpu is not only scoring around 7700 points in its multi-core score in cinebench r20 which would put it actually around 25 to 30 percent faster than the 13th gen i7 counterparts but on top of that guys it's also doing it at around nearly half the power draw as according to moore's law is dead apparently the raptor lake sweet spot is around 120 to 145 watts whereas here apparently these new chips this sweet spot is around 65 to 95 watts so that is a massive massive improvement and guys this is really exciting stuff because what this tells me is that these new generation of chips are not only going to probably have some decent overclocking headroom but this could also allow for in general much better performance of course at lower power draws as well but if you're willing to throw that out the window and go for an all core overclock you could be looking at some really really wild performance out of these chips as far as i'm aware the 15th generation aero lake chips which should be built similarly to what we're seeing here in this leak are apparently only in the mid four gigahertz as of now so if we can achieve a say 5.5 gigahertz overclock on those chips that is going to be a massive performance uplift and it is going to allow i think maybe for the return of hdt as well so who knows maybe we could be looking at 10 or 12 full p cores in the not too distant future but now we got to talk about nvidia because yes it looks like they're actually doing it the rtx 40 series is about to become obsolete at least some of the models as apparently the latest leak suggests that not only is the rtx 40 super series basically definitely happening but yes they went for it and the naming is absolutely insane now this information comes from the twitter leaker mega size gpu and this guy definitely has gotten a lot of information put out there in the past he seems to have some inside information and according to him apparently the rtx 40 ti super is a real thing at least that's what it looks like if you take a look at this information he's posted you can see what appears to be at least from what i can tell some inside documents around the rtx 40 super series in terms of how they're going to be branding it now this is the type of thing you would be passing around when you're working on the digital version of what's eventually going to be printed so this definitely looks legit guys and it is absolutely hilarious that we're seeing rtx 40 ti super that is just absolutely ridiculous but as ridiculous as the name is guys i do think this is actually the most exciting skew because essentially what you're going to be getting here is a slightly cut down rtx 4080 but at a much more palatable price in fact this gpu could be essentially nearly as fast as that rtx 4080 but coming in at the same 800 price point that the current rtx 4070 ti is and if that's the case i'll be honest with you guys a 800 rtx 4080 is a definitely great value gpu in my opinion honestly nearly a must buy graphics card when that launches because you'll be getting 16 gigabytes of vram a good performance uplift over the previous generation of gpus as well as who knows maybe there's a chance we could get also the new displayport 2.1 i wouldn't hold my hopes up but it is technically possible We'll have to wait and see. And of course, you will be getting just generally much better performance in the current RTX 4070 Ti. So the value overall is gonna be a massive increase over what we currently have and i would definitely be recommending this gpu very very exciting to see that nvidia is starting to correct their prices and giving us much much better gpus not to mention we should be seeing an rtx 4070 super as well as an rtx 4080 super and potentially an rtx 4090 super as well where those things land in terms of price we don't know for sure yet although it is likely that we'll be pushing down the non-super gpus in terms of their price. So whether you want these super or non-super GPUs, I do think it is worth waiting right now until these things come out to see what is gonna be the best option for you as they should all be much better price to performance and it's definitely a good thing that they're going ahead and doing this guys because according to the twitter user harokaze and this information i got from hardwaretimes.com it looks like the rtx 40 series sales are not doing too hot i mean not only do i know from some accounts people telling me that the rtx 4080 has not sold well whatsoever but i've also heard that the entire rtx 40 series lineup has definitely started to slump 
in terms of their sales. I mean, it makes a ton of sense. They're not offering the best value right now. And Nvidia's drivers have not necessarily been up to the quality standard that I've held them to in the past. Now they are making a lot of improvements. So as time goes on, and maybe by the time the RTX 40 Super Series comes out, we'll see a big driver update that does solve the remaining big issues that they're currently having. But it looks like even the RTX 4090, the GPU that everybody wanted, is no longer selling too well. According to this information, it looks like apparently the RTX 4090 is now only selling half as much as it once was. Now that does sound really bad, but to be fair, the RTX 4090 is an enthusiast GPU. Enthusiasts do like to rush out and buy things right away. So I'm not surprised that sales have slumped, but 50% is quite a lot. So I definitely think this is one of the driving factors towards Nvidia releasing an RTX 40 Super Series, which I've been talking out for a long time if you've been subscribed you've probably seen me showing what i thought all the specs would be quite a while ago and it's good to see that yes it is all coming to fruition i think the specs that have been leaking out make a lot of sense recently as well and i'm really excited to take a look at that rtx 4070 ti super because despite the silly name i really do think this is going to be a great gpu and I'd love to see how it performs, especially with an overclock. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 40 Super Series will fix Nvidia's lineup, or do you think the prices will still be too high? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.